This is Twit. Tech Break is brought to you by our friends at IT Pro TV, now called ACI Learning. IT Pro's new Cyber Skills is a training tool for all members of your organization. Get cybersecurity awareness training for non IT professionals and secure your business on all fronts. Twit listeners can receive up to 65% off an IT Pro Enterprise Solution plan. The discount is based on the size of your team when you fill out their form. Secure your business. Visit go.acilearning.com/slash twit today. Let's kick things off today uh, talking about uh, kind of a, a viral darling when it comes to widgets in general. Uh, but now that there are interactive widgets, I have to tell you, I was not um, aware of just how powerful, uh, or I, I guess I hadn't considered the, the potential that interactive widgets could have when they were paired with an app called widget smith tell us about widget smith yeah so this this was the app i thought of when interactive widgets were announced in fact we were sitting right and i was sitting directly in front of david smith the developer of this and i think you were sitting right around us yeah. or you were sitting next to me i don't i don't even remember now uh, but we were sitting in the same area as him and like the whole time i'm like okay he's nerd now right now he's excited and what widget smith does i'm gonna i'm gonna cut over to my ipad screen here um there's a bunch of widgets but my absolute favorite one is this new music widget it brings mm -hmm. cover flow, cover <gasps> flow from iTunes. It's on the iPad now. So what's cool about this is the way you can configure it. I'll show you in just a second. But you can click on various different uh, albums and it will cycle through them. And then you can click on it again to start playing. Now, I'm not going to start playing this because I don't want you guys to get a copyright strike Thank or any you. sort of DMA takedown or whatever. Uh, but you would just click on this again or tap on it again in order to get this. Uh, but we can go into uh, the actual app here. And there's a whole bunch of different options in here uh, but we'll start with the cover flow this is I have set up as a medium widget you can go in and you can add different collections of music in here I have my favorites mix my Apple music radio station uh, I miss emo playlist uh, because I'm total emo kid uh, and a, a, a punk uh, a pop punk playlist in here uh, unfortunately it looks like I just found a bug so that it's doing some weird things with the album artwork but uh, yeah you can hit plus and you can add more stuff to it if you wish you can even come in here to options. Um, now, one of the ones that I find the most interesting about this CoverFlow widget is by default, it is set to play music using the Widget Smith app. If you're using Apple Music, switch that over to the Music app. This means the now playing controls through Control Center, or if you use the Music Widget app, or the, I'm sorry, the Music Widget or whatever else that pairs into music, you can now use uh, those together because it's just streaming music or it's playing music from the music app. Uh, I also have shuffled on and by default, it's on these nice square looking icons, but I put them on these slight curvy ones to kind, of, to, to kind of make it look a little bit more like app icons. Yeah. And then you can have this mirrored effect. It literally adds nothing, but it just makes it look like classic cover flow, which Oh. Is I, I'm guessing you and I, Micah, I think we've talked about this in the past on one of the podcasts, but you and I got into Apple stuff around the same time, I believe. Mm -hmm. So CoverFlow was like peak us uh, yes, getting into exactly. Apple. Um, yeah, and they have, and Widget Smith has a bunch of other stuff. They have interactive photo widgets. That's me and my niece right there. What's cool about this is you can set them up to do different things. So you can set this up to be a drawer so you can click on it and it will open up into a different uh, uh, widget. So it, it could be like the time uh, you pick the alternative widget right here. Uh, there's an interactive calendar widget where you can click the various days to see your, your different dates. There's even a tile based game that's kind of similar to threes that you can play right from the home screen there's so much cool stuff in widget smith i'll just click in here um these there's an interactive tab right here it's the finger icon these are all the interactive widgets it has there's a lot in here there lots are. to play with but if there's one in particular that you should play with it's the cover flow music widget because it's genius I agree. I also, yeah, the, the drawer one that you mentioned, just the idea that um, it can be a photo and then you switch it to something that is, you know, helpful to you for a moment and then it can go back. 
I want that in real life. I want this calendar I have on my wall to be able to tap it and just That'd turn it cool. into just a photograph. And then I tap it again. I guess I guess there are ways to you make that could. happen. I'm thinking of Amazon devices or an iPad or something. But <laughs> oh, my mind immediately went to like getting like a touchscreen device, hooking up a Raspberry Pi. Right? I'm, I'm fully taking over the Rosemary Orchard seat this week. And I'm just like, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what could be done? <laughs> um, yeah, so Widget Smith is available. I believe uh, it's now available as a free download with in-app purchases. Yes. So you can, yeah, you can get it uh, in the app store for free, and then you pay a dollar ninety nine a dollar ninety nine a month or nineteen ninety nine a year to gain access to the more premium features. But uh, what I think is so amazing about Widget Smith, even outside of uh, the new interactive widgets, is that. This was the first app I saw that finally convinced people that it was worth it to, when I say people, I mean sort of the people general. who aren't, yeah, the general population, that it is worth paying something for yeah. the apps that we have. I, I yep. love that. Games obviously don't count because a lot of people do those little in-app purchases for games, but um, I can remember some different viral things that had taken place like the... Uh, the AI uh, photos that people with like profile photos. And uh, I had family members asking me, how do you do that? And I explained and then, oh, it costs $4 or whatever it was. Oh yeah. And then, you know, different apps. What app do you use for this, this? Oh, well, it costs $1.99. Uh, so Widget Smith being able to push past that, I thought was pretty fantastic. So congratulations to Underscore on um, a, I think, incredible addition to the app.